This video follows a similar format to previous ones. It's divided into two main chapters. Chapter 1, Roughing Out, and Chapter 2, Shaping. First, I'll introduce you to the feet carving blanks. Here are the left and right feet carving blanks. As in previous videos, the shaded areas on the carving blank will be removed in Chapter 1. I will be demonstrating the carving with the left foot. The right foot will be a mirror of the left foot. Here's a reminder of how the knee joint will work. Like on the thigh, there is a semicircle drawn on the foot carving blank. This will line up with the semicircle on the thigh piece, creating the knee joint. We'll insert a leather strip into this slot in video 10 when we assemble the puppet. Chapter 1 Roughing Out Carving the outside and inside shapes. This is what to aim for in Chapter 1. Here is the right foot after roughing out and the left foot after roughing out. I have carved away the shaded areas, forming both the outside and inside shape. Step 1. Carving the outside shape. Here are the carving directions for step 1. FYI, the grain of the wood is running along the length of the piece in the same direction as the slot at the top. First, hold the piece by the base of the foot and carve from the middle of the foot towards the ankle. Then, hold the piece sideways and carve across the grain from the heel towards the knee. Finally, hold the piece by the opposite end and carve with the grain to shape the toe area. Watch what I do in the following footage and skip ahead when you're ready.
Step two, carving the inside shape. Here's the left foot after roughing out the outside shape. There are two main carving directions for carving the inside shape. Hold the piece by the base of the foot and carve from the middle of the foot towards the ankle. Then turn the piece around and carve in the opposite direction to form a valley. Watch what I do in the following footage and skip ahead when you're ready. Step two continued. Like in step one, you can also carve a small amount off the tip of the foot. Then continue shaping the valley by carving down the leg towards the ankle. Chapter 2. Shaping the calves and the feet. Here is the left foot after roughing out in chapter 1. Throughout chapter 2, you can try mock assembling the hind legs. For now, you could try a strip of rolled up tape or card. By the end of chapter 2, the knee joint on the thigh and foot will line up. Step 1. Shaping the calves. You can start by knocking off the square corners at the knee joints. This doesn't have to be precise for now, just make a start. I found carving across the grain worked quite well.
Step 1 continued. Next, carve with the grain down the length of the calf. Do this on both sides on the front of the calf. Step one continued. When it feels appropriate, you can return to shaping the knee area. Here I am carving across the grain like before. Here is the left foot after shaping the front of the calf. Next, you can shape the edges on the rear of the calf. Carve up the leg with the grain on both sides. Step two, shaping the feet. Now that the calves are shaped, we can move on to the feet, starting with the top edges. Carve down each of the front edges towards the ankle. Step two continued. You can clean up the ankle by carving in the other direction, down the calf again. Alternate between the two directions until the shavings have disappeared.
Step 2 continued. Next, finish shaping the top of the foot by knocking off the two front edges. Step 2 continued. Finally, knock off the edges on the base of the foot, including the heel area. This is what my left foot looked like after I'd finished shaping.
and here are the right and left feet together. As you can see, they're a mirror of one another in shape. Keep test assembling the hind legs until you're happy with how the two pieces combine. You can also try assembling the hind legs to the puppet to see how it looks. This concludes video six. In video seven, we'll carve the hare's head.